The 45 million year old design of a fly's eye preserved in amber makes all the difference to solar cell efficiency. It's 45 million years old. It has a stru structure on its eye, on the surface of its eye, that is not a reflector of light, but an anti-reflector. Indeed, we can make this in a plastic and attach it to the surface of solar cells and allow all the light to go through. That way we gather an extra 10% of the energy that is available to the solar cells. As long as there's been design, there's been inspiration from nature. Building, flying, even fusion power. Some subtle, some obvious. Mercedes-Benz, wanting to emulate nature, took the stubby boxfish as an ideal aerodynamic and practical shape and morphed the form into a real concept car. And by taking more cues from nature to make the car lighter, the result is a fuel consumption of 4.3 kilometres per litre and, according to Mercedes, one of the most aerodynamic cars in the world. The electron microscope has made it possible to see nature's secrets with ever greater detail. Wilhelm Bartlott has spent years understanding how the lotus leaf seemingly defies physics. Isn't it wonderful? It's really a pleasure for a scientist. Millions of years of evolution. We all come to the most spectacular. This is a leaf of the sacred lotus, an old symbol of purity. It's like a shield of mercury, but it's not mercury, it's an air film which coats the leaf. So I could say the leaf is not underwater, and it becomes obvious, I take it out completely dry. The trick behind it is the architecture, the structures which are the cells superimposed by nanostructures.